Hey folks, welcome to Market Technical Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com for Tuesday, November 20th, 2007. Well, the day was an unbelievable whipsaw action day. Uh, just, you know, what do you say when you have rallies and sell-offs and, and unbelievable rallies, to be frank about it. And just to touch on what we talked about yesterday and the previous day in the video, yesterday we mentioned that we were a little surprised that the market dipped uh, down yesterday prior to the Thanksgiving um, holiday because as we all know going into a Thanksgiving holiday you have lighter volume which favors the upside you have a market sitting right on the moving averages and major support levels the 1420 on the S s and was was tested today and that was a major support area on the Nasdaq you had the 200 moving average being tested which was a major support area so uh, as of yesterday we were talking that we had to hit a double bottom as well in the market and it was very uh, likely that we would see at least a flat market to a positive bias going into the Thanksgiving weekend and uh, the Thanksgiving Thursday obviously and then the long weekend or, or if you take the Friday off it would be a long weekend now today we saw some interesting maneuvering in the market and what we saw is oil take off to the upside dramatically you know we're talking about ninety eight dollar oil now folks and this is something else we talked about multiple times uh... Oh, about a week or two ago and this is going into options x we talked about how there were tons of call options before options expiration last friday for a hundred dollar oil and you knew when there's when everyone's thinking it's going to a hundred you know it's not and obviously it pulled back and we hit, hit like ninety dollars a barrel on oil everyone started to say well is oil at, uh, oil a hundred never gonna happen and the second people started to say that then you knew it was going to a hundred okay so it, it's 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 so unbelievable how you just need to go the opposite way and I'm gonna put up the uh, the uh, we're gonna put up the daily uh, NASDAQ chart just to kinda see what happened today and we'll go over it but here's the NASDAQ daily but just to touch on that oil again as soon as I heard the media discussing well is oil ever gonna hit a hundred dollars a barrel when oil was sitting at around ninety ninety one I said alright guys as soon as options X is over uh, we'll probably see a move to a hundred in oil and we talked about this in the chat room on multiple occasions uh, which everyone should be coming to join by the way but this was all discussed, and sure enough, today uh, we had a dramatic move up in oil. Uh, uh, the dollar got weak today again, and uh, gold was up twenty-seven and a half dollars uh, an ounce. And oil is now above ninety-eight dollars a barrel, and really within earshot of a hundred. Intraday, it's very likely that in, the, in either tomorrow or on Friday we touch a hundred, and if not, on Monday. Now, you know, you might have a little fluctuation. They might try to fake people out again, get it to ninety-nine fifty, then pull it back two dollars, and then you know to fake everyone out, thinking it's not going to do it again. Again, but at some point we're gonna hit a hundred it might be tomorrow it might be Friday it might be a week from now but it's coming it's coming at this point uh, it, it doesn't get that close to an even number and not push through and those in the chat room understand what I mean by that uh, we play multiple plays based on this perception this this idea so in any case that's what was going on now again in the markets uh, we talked about the rally and in, in the previous videos I'm sure many people out there were saying oh you know in the money stocks.com video totally wrong when the Nasdaq sitting down 40 points today 30 points today on the low was at three o'clock, three three fifteen in the afternoon. Oh, they said we were probably gonna, you know, have a flat day to a positive day going into this holiday, and they were so wrong. Well, guess what? Come three thirty in the afternoon, monster rally. And you know, believe it or not, I was sitting here and I said, "Wow, could they really be pushing? Is, is everyone that panicked? Is everyone freaking out that much that we're we're gonna we're gonna sell off even into the Thanksgiving holiday? Is it possible that even you have know, Black Friday? Does does the, do the those that be the powers that be want?" the consumers to have a negative bias for that based on a, on a strong down move right before this holiday you know going into that spending spree or that going away trip where they're gonna spend money and consumer spending so a big deal well sure enough we were right on here guys <laughs> major rally the last half hour of the day spiking the NASDAQ up from basically down 30 in half an hour to plus three and a half points all right, and just a monster move higher. The Nasdaq closed up three and a half points. The Dow closed up 51, almost 52 points, and the S&P closed up six. We rallied off the 1420 mark, which is the key mark on the S&P. We rallied off the 200 on the daily Nasdaq, and look at this. We were well below the 200. We, if we had closed down here, we would have said this was a, probably a major breakdown with confirmation in the next day. But again, we, we rallied off that level, and we closed well above it, and that's all that needs to be said right here. So as of now, you still have a double bottom intact and, a, and major support at the 200. 
So again, you have to believe that there's upside bias here for tomorrow and for Friday, and we continue to be right on on this these market calls. And I encourage everyone to come join the chat room. We just closed out the ADM trade today with a beautiful profit on a short here. We were short up here on this star, chalk, char, uh, chart on ADM, and we sold. Uh, we covered the the trade down here, right about uh, 35 and change. I think about 35.50 we were out. It'll be posted on the website within a week on the swing trade alerts um, uh, uh, track record. But in any case, just a phenomenal swing. Trade trade alert again closed out for a beautiful profit right before the market rally today and uh, and and hope I'm sure there'll be more plenty of more trades to come that'll be profitable as we have a great track record going right now all right, folks, going back to the NASDAQ, let's take another look at this here, and we'll take a look at the ES intraday, but you can see what happened. We gapped up today, and, and at first I said, you know, again, I said, okay, here's the rally, and then we sold off big, you know, and uh, and then we, I was like, okay, is this really happening? And then we rallied the last, and I said, yeah, of course, they're going to save the market. They're not letting it close below the 200. They're not letting it break key indicators here. So in any case, solid move all the way around. You can see the NASDAQ here again. This is so important, this line here, folks. I can't tell you how important this is. If this line gets taken out, out, I'm going to show you something here. We're going to go to the weekly chart. If this line gets taken out right here, or basically you can look at, we actually on the weekly, this is the weekly NASDAQ chart now I just switched to. You can see we actually hit the 50 moving average here, but this line right here is, is where on the daily uh, the 200 is. And if this gets closed below, then I got to believe it takes out the 50 on the weekly and we go down to. Uh, August lows here on the NASDAQ, somewhere in this range, okay? So it's a very important that they hold it above. We should see a little bounce here. I continue to have an upside bias, and, we, and it worked out today. We'll see if it works out tomorrow. Uh, and again, my upside bias is not a dramatic rally. I'm not saying that that's going to happen. Uh, I'm saying a small little push-up to flat trading. You just need that little little soft move up just to kind of get get things not so bearish anymore. People may be thinking this is the bottom and so forth. Once people start thinking this was the bottom, then it can fall again. It's always contrarian, folks, and, and you always got to think from the outside the box. Don't think from the average perspective of an investor. Think from the average, from the pro trader's perspective of contrarian, going against the crowd, going against the amateur, thinking where things are going, where, where the big money, where's the big money going to push the market to take the money from the small guy. That's always the way you got to think as a, as, a, as a, a trader here or as a swing trader. Uh, or a day trader, it doesn't matter. That's the way you got to think. Now, looking at the ES chart here, and I'm going to show you the intraday. You can see the dramatic moves in this market here. You had early on, we moved down right here, then we spiked up big. And don't forget, we also had the Fed coming out today at around two o'clock, announcing a Fed Fed outlook. And this is the first time I've really heard about this new Fed outlook, or at least that's how it was portrayed on CNBC uh, uh, with the media. But in any case, uh, they came out and basically said, don't don't expect a rate cut, although inflation's not really an issue anymore. We don't think it is. You know, a few odds and ends. And believe it or not, the market actually sold lower on that news. Okay, Very interestingly enough, the market actually dipped on that before rallying. But in any case, you can see the dramatic moves here just all over the place. Uh, and this monster rally at the end. I mean, this ma rally in the last half hour was a sizable rally. All right? But any way you cut it, volume was tre tremendous today. We had uh, almost 3 million contracts traded on the ES futures. Uh, after hours, we're upticking a little, and there should be a continuation, uh, especially after hours here, in, of this monster move into the close. A sizable move like that, you might have a small pullback at some point, but it's it's you know there's no joke when you have a buy program like that coming to the market it's no joke absolutely so do watch for continued possible small upside bias tomorrow and on Friday Friday's a half day tomorrow's a full day and we will be out with videos on both days summarizing the market moves okay just a couple other things I want to touch on here and I want to switch this is the weekly by the way and and this is the weekly ES chart and something that should be noted here again is the double bottom and this, I've showed you multiple double bottoms here, but on the weekly, you really see it beautifully. This is the weekly ES December contract, and you can see here, you have a double bottom here and a double bottom here, and you're not getting a close below either uh, this area. So anywhere in this area is a nice double bottom. You get a close somewhere down here, and we'll probably come down to here, which were the lows in August, okay? on the ES futures and that's under 1400 so really on the S&P if you break 1420 which is the key level now again 1420 on the S&P 500 then you're going to August lows most likely and the NASDAQ will see the lows from uh, August as well now if we break those lows on the downside on the NASDAQ then we're talking about some major downside potential possibly to, to March lows if not uh, if not even lower so we'll continue to ra uh, 
reevaluate as we go. But right now, we just need to focus in on what's important here, which is just this double bottom area and if we bounce here over the next day or two. And uh, listen, folks, in my opinion, we should bounce, but there's no guarantees in life. And uh, please keep that in mind, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm essentially sitting in cash here, small swing trade positions here and there. And uh, I only speak from my perspective, as I always say. Always consult your financial advisor and uh, understand that. All right, folks. Uh, other than that, that's about it. Watch for an interesting day tomorrow. All right. Might get very light trading towards the afternoon as people start leaving early for the Thanksgiving uh, weekend or the fa Thanksgiving day and then the long weekend possibly. So expect volume to get very, very light tomorrow late in the afternoon and on Friday. Friday market closes at 1. Have a wonderful day, folks. We'll talk to you tomorrow. And uh, hold on to your hats because this market just looks like it's going to get wilder and wilder. Take care.